For decades, the future of artificial intelligence was locked behind a single machine, an extreme ultraviolet lithography system, the most complex manufacturing device ever built, costing over $250 million per unit and taking more than 20 years to develop. This machine was essential for producing the world's most advanced AI chips, powering everything from data centers to autonomous vehicles. And for years, only one company on Earth could make it, giving them complete control over the cutting edge of semiconductor technology. That monopoly shaped the global chip industry, especially as geopolitical tensions rose and export bans were imposed to prevent certain nations from accessing advanced semiconductor manufacturing tools. The goal was simple, slow down competitors and preserve technological dominance. But instead of stopping progress, those restrictions triggered an unprecedented response. In a move that stunned the global tech world, China reportedly succeeded in cracking extreme ultraviolet lithography in just six years, achieving what previously took two decades. The most difficult challenge was not assembling the machine itself, but generating EUV light, a process so complex it borders on controlled chaos involving high-powered lasers striking microscopic molten tin droplets to create bursts of extreme ultraviolet radiation. By solving this core problem, China broke the most critical barrier in advanced chip manufacturing. The strategy behind this breakthrough combined aggressive reverse engineering, expertise from former industry insiders, centralized national coordination, and virtually unlimited resources directed toward a single objective. What sanctions attempted to block? Necessity forced to accelerate. While this does not yet mean mass production of advanced chips at scale, the significance of generating EUV light cannot be overstated. It signals that the technological gap once considered unbridgeable is now rapidly closing, and the balance of power in the semiconductor world is shifting. To understand the scale of this achievement, Imagine a race where one runner had a 20-year head start and owned the only pair of high-tech shoes in existence. China did not wait to be handed those shoes. Instead, it built its own version from scratch, while still running, and began closing the distance at unprecedented speed. This moment is no longer just about chips or machines. It is about control. Control over artificial intelligence, economic power, and the future of global technology. The question now is no longer whether the race has competitors, but who will ultimately decide the direction of the AI-driven world.